Send inside nicely. It's going to be headed on and it's going to be out of touch there. Wasn't in a position to get on top of that one McIntyre. This could be interesting as it's a foot chase here. It's no one being able to stay in control there. As it Tripping in the area and a whistle is being blown. Must be for it's an infringement on St. Hans, but just on the outside of the area. I thought he was in diving. I thought the whistle was blown for that, but will he go high? Will he go low? Will he go powerful? It's short right there. Shot coming in. Go oh, with a very good save there. Well set up there from Police FC, but a very good save from Creel Lewis. And actually get, getting a handshake from Anton Hutchinson, defender from Police. Good to see that sort of fair play in football. Let's stay in touch. Yes, it does. Belgrave doing a very good job of getting that through the legs of Jelani Peters. One of the few occasions where we see supporters seeing they want a red card, but it's a yellow card for the pulling on tugging of Belgrave as he got past him. Corner heading in. No whistle not is going to be with St. Hans and a whistle being blown. That signals the end of the first half. So a very uneventful first half of football. Not many shots coming in. Both teams still seem to took the 45 minutes plus to find their footing but welcome back viewers welcome back to the Yatabula Stadium here for second half action in this matchup between St. John's Rangers and Police FC and then the first half for teams that aren't from the point four to know Sandy Grandi region that being point four instead of the Garcia Northeast Stars there's a shot coming in here as over bar opportunity building there for St. John's Rangers as that one Knocked over by, by the under 21 player Jamal Barrow. Look where Terence Lewis is as he's coming out with a strong tackle there. Referee is done wasting no time in raising his flag. Maybe seeing the second yellow card of the game. Now on Terence Lewis, the goalkeeper and captain for St. Anne's Rangers. Chipped in, shot coming in off the volley, but it's going to be wide of the goal. Jamil Perry not being able to get a bit of power and direction on that with as huge of light. Able to win it, slowing the run a bit. This could be a very good ball. Oh, not being able to get there in time as Elijah Belgrave. As that is the first goal of the game and Perry finally getting it past goalkeeper Lewis. A round of applause as to say finally from the police supporters. It was coming, it was on the cards that they were finding themselves in the deep in the half tonight, but police has numbers moving forward. Shot coming in low hard and just wide the goal. It seemed as though goalkeeper Terence Lewis had that one covered, but it was an impressive strike and just that police are seemingly breathing new life as if it was minute one opportunity across coming inside this could be goal number two yes it is by that very man but it's an offside flag being raised in the process so wave that one off still one goal for police so pressuring him pressure him opportunity here opportunity dive and it's gonna be a oh, penalty it seemed to be a dive to me but the referee's assistance flag went up immediately and it's going to be a penalty here. St. Dan's Rangers. Taco steps up and off the upright. Oh, sent inside. Went up to the head. That's a B. Here's Darko trying to make amends, taking a shot there, but again it's wild the goal. 